I was going to call this a short mic review, but that pun was so painful I had to put on my tens machine. With the face made for radio, the voice made for writing, the writing style of a preschooler, and puns that no one understands. It's your host, Ellis. That's right, I'm Ellis, and this is the House of Ellis Review channel. A couple weeks ago, I watched a review over the newer mini condenser microphone done by Banjo over at Podcastage, which I'll link down below. I thought, what the heck? It sounds decent. I'll hit up eBay for a cheaper version. So I found a seller selling a mic that looked the same for 99 cents with free shipping. So I bought 15. I would link to the listing, but it looks like the seller isn't selling them anymore. But if you search for a mini microphone, you'll find a ton of them out there. Straight out of China and two weeks later, let's take a look at what I got. So this is the package. You see the mic and the windscreen. It's just plastic paper, plastic folds over the paper. Uh, lets you slide out the back. On the back we have some specs, text, and diagrams. From this, very little is specified, but you can see that this mic is gluten intolerant. So here it is out of the package. It has a full metal body, has a built-in cord that's covered in cloth. At the end of the cord you have both a male and female plug and jack. Male plug is just a 3.5 millimeters, uh, eighth inch four pin TRS plug. Female jack is just your standard 3.5 millimeter eighth inch stereo jack for your headphones. The foam windscreen is nothing special. The head basket is removable. Here's a picture of the inside of the head basket. The microphone capsule is removable. Okay, on to the other test. So I'm holding this mic just a couple inches away from my face. Let's go ahead and see if we can do a proximity test here. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Now I'm holding it uh, about a foot away from my face. How does that sound? On the package, the directivity wasn't specified, so let's go ahead and test that out. So I'm spinning around the mic. I'm on the side now. Now I'm heading towards the back. I'm di directly speaking towards the back of the mic, spinning it around to the other side. I'm directly on the side, going towards the uh, front of it. And we're back to the front. Let's go ahead and do a plosive test. Susie Boomer wanted Peter Piper sizzling pumpkin pie. Now let's go ahead and do that without the windscreen. Susie Boomer wanted Peter Piper sizzling pumpkin pie. So here are my thoughts on this ultra low cost cute microphone. Cons. I'm not a fan of cables that are built into microphones. The windscreen seems to color the sound a little bit. It's not the best sounding mic out there. Pros. It sounds a lot better than some of the mics I've paid over 15 times more for. Has some modding potential to be used in parts for another project. It's cute. The built-in TRRS cable makes it easy to use on an Android phone. It was only 99 cents. And for the question that's on everybody's mind, why did you buy 15? Why just buy one when you can have 14 spares? Maybe I'll even use it on a project that may or may not be coming on my other channel. So until next time, fellow YouTubians, go out and do something awesome.